Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. I'm sorry for my absence. As those of you who follow me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, you'd know that I was actually in Milan for a few days finalising the final 30 eyeshadow colours for the artist of makeup. Now this is the 30 palette and I was obviously finalising the brushes and I've been busy doing that as well as obviously doing my bridal clients and all the hectic things that come with motherhood as well. So um, sorry for the delay but I'm happy to say that the artist of makeup eyeshadows will be launching soon. If you guys want to register your details on artistofmakeup.com you'll be the first to be notified of the actual launch date. Here I am with my son on the plane with a dodgy looking guy <laughs> in the background. This was obviously on our way to Milan and I'm going to show you some more pictures because obviously I couldn't film everything so hopefully you guys get to enjoy. Um, basically this was some graffiti that was not far from our house, well not our house, the hotel, but there was a lot of graffiti in Milan but this was the most artistic that I saw so I thought I'd capture it for you guys to see. Um, the day that we arrived uh, we had a rest and then the next day we went sightseeing. Um, there's not much to see in Milan, there was a few um, sort of old buildings here and there so I decided to take this picture so that you guys can see. Now the exciting day was the actual day that I went to see the lab um, and the place where all the beautiful makeup is made and as you can see here I'm on the table looking through all the colours. I mean I had loads of colours, loads of samples with me but at the same time I just wanted to make sure that I had perfect perfect 30. So I was deliberating and just kind of making sure that i you know, tried out every single colour that I liked and made sure that it was highly pigmented and everything else. So it was a really, really long process, but in the end I did make it and I did decide on a final 30 and I included a video towards um, the end of the night, although I was completely shattered. Um, here I look fine, but when you see me in the video that's coming soon, I was literally near the elevator. We had just arrived at, back at the hotel. I was shattered. I look drained and you're gonna see the rest. Hey guys, um, sorry excuse me for the tired look and the bad lighting. I've just come back from the factory where the um, eyeshadows are made and I just wanted to fill you guys in while I'm still in the mode and you know the excitement of the day and what had to happen and what went on. Um, basically I couldn't really film um, anything that went on but I was able to take a few pictures and I'll add those in possibly towards the end or in between. Yeah so I just wanted to kind of fill you in about the final selection of, of eyeshadows which I've obviously been working on for the past over a year now. Um, but the colours, the selection, why I chose the actual sort of pigmentation and how I developed the actual eyeshadows in a nutshell if I can. Um, so basically I've included a lot of neutral colours and we had to obviously, over the past year, the reason it's been taking so long is because I wasn't happy necessarily with the first first batch of samples that I received, and it was back on forth. And, um, and today basically was very much about me checking out all the other kind of shades um, and making sure that these were the final 30 that I'm gonna go with. So I had to go all the way to Milan, I had to be there and make sure that I get what I wanted basically because this isn't just something that I feel passionate about but I feel that this is something that you guys as well can sort of make use of because the colours and the payoff and the pigmentation of these eyeshadows are extremely extremely great and they're really pigmented and as you can see you've got really really vibrant colours and you've got really really nice neutral tones as well you've got golds, browns, beiges, you know there's this, uh, a big selection and I've chosen 30 because I just feel that, you know, 15 isn't enough and 20 wasn't enough and 30. And to be honest, it was really, really hard because there were so many amazing colours, but I had to be really ruthless and I had to just, you know, think, what am I going to do? There's some really, really beautiful shades, but at the same time, I really thought about um, what are the colours that I like to use, what are the colours that people like to use, and how can we create a palette that is going to be user friendly for makeup artists as well as people that are doing it for their everyday use. The experience has been really surreal.
surreal. It's been like, oh my God, I'm actually here. I'm actually, you know, speaking to people that I've been speaking to on the phone or through emails and things like that. So it's been really, really interesting and it's been really amazing to actually see everything at work. And obviously because you guys can see the behind the scenes, but I got to see a massive, lots of different makeup. Um, and it was just really, really um, interesting and really inspiring to kind of also see other stuff that we can introduce to the line as well. Next step from now is obviously to get the website launched um, because I know a lot of you are dying to try out the eyeshadows. Um, I've been selfish and just been using them myself and stuff but soon it's going to be your turn to try them and I can't wait to get them out there for you guys to try. We are actually filming near the elevators of the hotel. Of the hotel. Reason being is obviously we've got the little one sleeping, he's accompanied us and we tried to make it into a sort of also sightseeing one day. Um, day before today we did some sightseeing but yeah it's just been crazy, it's been quite manic and we are just filming here, people going up and down the stairs with pillows and whatnot, lots of crazy stuff happening but yeah it's been fun and interesting and I hope to get these out to you guys soon. Oh, people are going to probably ask about my scarf. Some people on Instagram said, where did you get your scarf? Um, this scarf is from High Street, um, from Oxford Circus, this lady that's on Oxford Scarves. And she has some really nice stuff. And um, I'm wearing a shirt, it's a fuchsia colour. This is from um, Forever 21. Blazer is from Moo, not Muji. <laughs> Uniqlo. Uniqlo? It's just a nice little blazer. And I've got some jeans on and these slacks which are from June as well. So I don't it will be launching soon. I know I've been saying this and telling me it's launching soon, launching, launching, but the reason being is that I've been so picky and so fussy is because I want these to be the best eyeshadows that you guys will ever buy. So I don't want to make that as a big statement, but I actually want it to be something true that you guys, as soon as you touch them, as soon as you play with them, you're going to be like, oh my god, I've never felt eyeshadows so soft, smooth, and give off such great pigments. There's obviously some other eyeshadows which are not in this palette, but um, those are in a separate palette and I just sort of didn't want to be holding two separate palettes in case anything breaks. But yeah, so brushes are coming out soon, palettes and the eyeshadows, all, very, all will be up very, very well. Thank you for your time, thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that you don't, guys don't get to see unless you're following me on Instagram, so check me out.